Hi, I'm Brandon Grant, Sales and Marketing Director here at QuoteWorks. In this video, we're going to walk you through how to set up the QuoteWorks database hosting service and also how to connect it with your QuoteWorks web subscription. Before we get started, we're going to discuss the requirements to use the QuoteWorks database hosting service and also the QuoteWorks web subscription. First, in order to use the QuoteWorks database hosting subscription, you do already have to be on the corporate edition. Next, you need to be on version 5.5 build 4.04 or higher. We'll show you how to check this and make sure you are on the correct version and build of QuoteWorks before proceeding. Additionally, you'll need an active UMP subscription as well as an active QuoteWorks web subscription. And finally, these instructions are only going to apply for users that are still running QuoteWorks on an access backend. If you have already rehosted your QuoteWorks installation to SQL, you'll need to contact the support team for instructions on how to move the SQL database. If you're not sure if you're on SQL or not, we're actually going to walk through how you can easily check to see what type of database your QuoteWorks installation is installed on before proceeding. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing we want to do is check our QuoteWorks installation to make sure we meet all the requirements before proceeding and attempting to rehost our QuoteWorks installation to the Aspire hosted database hosting service. So to do this, in QuoteWorks, click on Help and About. A couple things you can check. First, your version. You want to be on at least version 5.5 build 4.04 or higher. So if you're on a higher version and build than this, then you're good to go and we can proceed to the next step. If you're on an earlier version than this, you'll need to go to the QuoteWorks website and download the latest update so that you can update your installation before proceeding. Next, we need to make sure that we're on the corporate edition of QuoteWorks. So in QuoteWorks, we're going to click on our system tab. And you can see right here, this will tell you which edition of QuoteWorks you have. So we're on the corporate edition, so we're good to move forward with the next step. The final step is to check our backend database type. So our backend database is Microsoft Access. So again, we're good, we can move forward. However, if you see yours says Microsoft SQL here, you will need to contact the support team for instructions on moving the SQL database. But for those of you on Microsoft Access, you're on the corporate edition and you're on version 5.5 build 4.04 or later, you can continue with the video. So we're good to go. So let's go ahead and start the process. So we're gonna close out of here. Now, before we rehost QuoteWorks to SQL, we want to make sure that we are the only user logged into QuoteWorks. To check that, click on Utilities, Show Logged In Users, and this will show you if you have any other users logged into this installation. I'm currently the only user logged in as administrator, so I'm good to go. Additionally, in order to proceed, you'll need to be logged in with the user as master rights. That can be the administrator user or your own username is fine, as long as you have master rights. So click on Utilities, and then Rehost Backend SQL. This will open up the QuoteWorks Rehost Wizard, and simply click Next. It's going to check to see if you have the Aspire hosted database subscription. So we want to say yes when it asks, would you like to rehost to this? So we're going to choose yes. If you don't see this message pop up, that means your QuoteWorks database hosting subscription is not active. You'll need to contact sales at this point to get this subscription activated. So we'll go ahead and we'll click yes. This will automatically fill in your SQL database information. You'll not need to make any changes and you can see all the fields are actually already grayed out so you can't make any changes anyway. So we'll simply click next. On the next button we're going to start the rehost process. It tells you here that this rehost process may take over an hour. The time to completion for your rehost is going to be completely dependent on how large your database is in QuoteWorks. If you're a new user, your database is probably pretty small and it won't take that long. If you are an existing user and you've been using QuoteWorks for a long time, it might take a little bit longer. So just be prepared that this may take an hour or a couple hours to complete. For most of you, it'll probably just take a few minutes. Once you're ready, go ahead and click on Next and the process will begin. During this rehost, you're going to see various databases being moved over to SQL from Access. This will include your documents databases, your products databases if they're set up in QuoteWorks, and your various settings as well. Once the rehost process is completed, you'll be prompted with a finished message on the rehost wizard and that you'll need to close QuoteWorks and restart it for it to start using the SQL databases. 
Because we're gonna set up our Quoteworks web subscription at the same time, we need to close Quoteworks and restart it for those changes to take effect. So we'll go ahead and we'll hit close. Okay, so we've restarted our Quoteworks installation. One thing we'll wanna check is just to make sure that we're now using the SQL database from the Quoteworks hosting subscription. So we can check this by clicking on help, about, clicking on our system tab, and we'll now see that we're on Microsoft SQL instead of Microsoft Access. You'll also see your, your SQL server name, database name, as well as our user ID, provider, all that information is now available here as well. So everything looks good. So let's go ahead and move forward with setting up our Quoteworks web subscription. So it's gonna be, again, very easy. Click on Tools, Options. Click on the Quoteworks web tab and very important, you want to validate your subscription. This is simply checking that your Quoteworks web subscription is valid. If this comes back as failed, this just means that your Quoteworks web subscription has not been set up yet. Simply contact the sales team and they can get that up and running for you. So ours looks good, so we'll go ahead and we'll click OK. And we'll go into the Quoteworks web setup. When you click on the Quoteworks web setup, you should be prompted to connect it to your Aspire hosted database. This is the Quoteworks database hosting subscription, so we want to click on yes. If you're not prompted to automatically connect to the Quoteworks database hosting subscription, this save settings button will actually say change settings. And if you click on that, that will then go and look for your Quoteworks database hosting subscription and then pre-fill this information for you. For most of you, this should automatically be filled and you should be good to go. We do want to go ahead and just check the subscription status. So we'll go ahead and click on that and we'll see that the subscription is valid. So we're good to go there. If you do click on the change settings button and you update it, you just wanna make sure you save them. Ours have been saved. We'll go ahead and save it. And then we also wanna test the new settings. So we've got the test, that works good there. Quoteworks will then prompt you to sync your Quoteworks desktop files with your Quoteworks web files. Simply click yes, and this will bring you to the synchronized screen. If for some reason you don't see this prompt or you accidentally cancel out of it, simply click on the synchronize button and this will then bring you to the synchronization window. So you'll see there's an option for syncing up and syncing down, canceling, and then only sync up files newer than a specific date. For our example, I'm just gonna sync everything from 1-1-2020. This is essentially when I installed my installation. For those of you that have been using Quoteworks for a long time, you might want to just change this to the year 2000, so it'll do all of your files. You'll only need to do this this first time, but the initial sync is going to include all of your information in Quoteworks, so your Quoteworks documents, your security settings, your layouts, all that information, your templates. So you just want to make sure that you get everything that you, that you have in your Quoteworks installation. I've set mine to January 1st of 2000. For those of you that are brand new users, you can just use the most recent date, maybe like a month ago or two months ago, just to ensure you get all of your documents. So we're gonna go ahead and click sync up. And this is going to start uploading all of my Quoteworks database information and syncing all that information to Quoteworks web so we have access to it. You'll have a complete notification when the process has completed and you can simply close out of here. The only time you'll need to resync with your Quoteworks web installation is if you make any administrative changes. So if you change anyone's security settings or maybe create like a new layout for your users, you'll need to come into the Quoteworks web setup and run the sync. But from the sync, you can say, okay, only sync files newer than a specific date. And you can run the sync again, and that'll sync just those new files up to your installation. After you've successfully synced all your files, simply click close and then click OK. That'll save your options and your settings in your Quoteworks installation. And we're good to go. So you've now successfully re-hosted your Quoteworks installation to the Aspire database hosting service and you've successfully connected your Quoteworks web subscription with your Quoteworks installation. Now to check your Quoteworks web to make sure everything has been set up, simply open up a web browser for the URL, simply type in na.quoteworks.com. To log into Quoteworks web, simply type in your tenant account number. If you're not sure what your tenant account number is, you can view this under Utilities License Manager in Quoteworks Desktop, and that'll display your tenant account number. Type in your Quoteworks username, and then finally type in your Quoteworks password, and then click Login. 
You'll see the login screen, and once it finalizes loading, you're ready to start using QuiltWorks Web. For more information, or if you have any questions, please feel free to give us a call or send us an email. Thanks for watching.